24 hours after delivering a historic and powerful address to a joint meeting of Congress and the American people, Ukraine's President Zelensky is now back in his home country. Before returning to Ukraine, he met with the president of Poland today after making his dramatic appeal for billions in aid from the U.S. How Republicans are now responding to his plea. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Cecilia Vega. Tonight, President Vladimir Zelensky back in Ukraine after that high stakes trip to Washington, stopping in Poland, <laughs> saying he is coming home with good results. In his historic address to a joint meeting of Congress, the defiant Zelensky dressed in military fatigues, thanking Americans for their help while pleading for more. We have artillery. Yes. Thank you. We have it. Is it enough? Honestly, not really. Zelensky handing Vice President Kamala Harris and Speaker Nancy Pelosi a Ukrainian flag signed by the very frontline soldiers he was just with hours earlier. We will win because we are united. Ukraine, America, and the entire free world. But Zelensky also delivering a sober warning about the tough road ahead, saying Russian strikes are hitting Ukrainian power supplies hard, his people now bracing for a harsh, potentially deadly holiday. In two days. We will celebrate Christmas, maybe candle it. Not because it's more romantic, no, but because there will not be, will be no electricity. Millions won't have neither heating nor running water. ABC's Britt Klenet seeing the darkness firsthand in Kyiv, where through the windows, teachers and students are seen studying by candlelight. There are just a few lights on in that residential building, and it's only 6 p.m. And over here, a bank actually still in operation, but in complete darkness. These guys are putting in a new generator. Back in Washington today, Congress moving to approve $45 billion more in aid to Ukraine, though some Republicans say they're opposed to sending more assistance. More than half of all House Republicans refused to even show up for Zelensky's historic address. Some who did, sitting during standing ovations. Let's get right to Cecilia Vega, who joins us now from the White House. Cecilia, we saw those Republicans sitting there, not applauding. Some top Republicans are making it clear that they want limits on this American support for Ukraine. Yeah, exactly, Lindsay. The man who could become the next Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, said that while he does support Ukraine, he does not support writing a blank check. That very well may be a sign of things to come. We are also, Lindsay, now hearing from the Kremlin in response to Zelensky's trip here to Washington. They called it a, quote, Hollywood-style trip, and they say it will not help advance peace talks, Lindsay. Cecilia Vega from the White House, thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.